Hey everybody, welcome to this fourth video in this series on how to use Pixlr E. In this video and the ones following it, we're going to take a look at a different tool that is along the left-hand side in your Pixlr editing panel. And each of them have a lot of cool features. And this is going to look at actually a couple of the tools that help you manipulate and move your image around. So to get started, we're just going to use a stock image. I'm going to go here to images and let me look for a picture, say, of an apple. And here's a good one. You can go ahead and do the same thing here to follow along. Good. So now here I have an image. I am going to go over here to my layers panel like we talked about, and I'm going to click unlock so that I can actually move this image around and arrange it because I want to use this arrange tool. So this uh, we're mainly going to be talking about the arrange tool in this video. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do with this. So the range tool automatically was selected. And now along the top here, you can see that I have a lot of other sort of fine tuning or options within the arrange tool that I can use. Uh, so the first thing you notice when I clicked on the arrange tool is I got these boxes around the outside of my image. And I can actually change the image directly by clicking on the boxes and moving my mouse around. So now I'm resizing my image. If I click in the middle of the image and hold my mouse down, I can move my image around. If I use click on this click and hold on this circle up at the top, I can rotate my image. So I can use these boxes here to change my image. I can also control things um, using these boxes up here, especially if I really want to fine tune and be precise. So I can actually type in an exact x value for its position. Let's say I didn't want it to be 114. I wanted it to be like, you know, 100 instead. Um, I can type that in right up here in these boxes and it'll put it exactly in that spot. And the, the times when you'll want to use that is if you have multiple layers and you want images to be lined up exactly in the same spot. You're not, you don't want to just eyeball it. You want it to be perfectly the same. Uh, then you can use these. That's the same with the size. Let's say you have two images and you want them to be the exact same height. You can control that right here. Um, another thing that you could uh, mess around with is aspect. Right now it's set on fixed, which means that it's going to keep the same uh, uh, width and height uh, ratio. But um, so like, yeah, I can, let me just try here for a second. It's always going to stay a rectangle, no matter how big or small I make it. But if I click on free, now I can make it like into a square, for example, or I can make it really, really wide and short. So the free aspect helps you uh, control it a little bit more, although for the most part, you probably want your image to stay in a fixed aspect. So I'm going to keep it on fixed. Uh, these options here, just mess with around with them, rotate left, rotate right. Um, this will flip your image horizontally or vertically if you want to do that, or yeah, here's vertical. Um, animation is something I won't really look at very much here, but you can add some animation to your image. Um, this is an interesting one. This will duplicate your image uh, to, into a new layer. So if I click on that, and you can see all of a sudden I have uh, two uh, of the same. And right now it doesn't look like they're both there because they're on top of each other, but I can drag one off. And now I've got two apples, which is sort of fun. And I can use the arrange tool to arrange them like that. Um, so th yeah, that is... There are actually some other options for the tool that you can click right here, but I would recommend that you just pull an image up, click on the Arrange tool, and just mess around with these until you're very comfortable with how this Arrange tool works and what you can do with it. The other two tools that I wanted to talk about here really quick are the Zoom tool and the Hand Pan tool. And these ones are sort of related to Arrange. Um, the Arrange tool actually physically moves layers around on your canvas. Whereas these two tools, the zoom and, and the hand or pan tool, move your canvas around so you can see different things. So for example, if I click on zoom, it's going to give me uh, a couple of different modes. It's going to give me a plus mode so I can zoom in easily or a minus mode so I can zoom back out. It can I can click easily click fit and it'll fit my canvas right to the window or fill. So only my image layers, not my whole canvas, will fill the screen. You can also... Um, make it 100% size. So that's what it would look like if I printed it. So there's a whole bunch of different options under Zoom. Um, that's not actually manipulating or changing your image, just your view of the image on the screen. And then the hand tool 
let's say I was zoomed in on one of my apples, the hand tool is going to give me an easy way to drag my canvas around without actually moving my images themselves. So now I can move over and I can see my other apple. So the hand pan tool just gives you that um, specific ability. And again, it gives you the fit and fill options here as well. So these two just change your view and make it easy to control that. You can also change your zoom and your navigate panel over here as well. So there's a couple of different places. I find that I, when I'm using this, if the, the, the most useful thing under here is this fit button, because sometimes I'll be like way zoomed in working on something and I'm like, oh, I want to, I want to zoom out. Oh no, it's too far out. Fit just brings you right back to home again, which is really nice. So that's the arrange tool, the zoom tool and the hand pan tool. I'd recommend just playing around with them and enjoy.